child should have to grow up in a safe or in an I'm sorry in an unsafe or harmful environment. And I think um, the first few years or the first 18 years of someone's life are really what sets the foundation for their future. And it's also fundamentally or ethically unfair. They're defenseless against the abuse because they're younger and without power, assuming that they're abused by someone more powerful. Because if you screw up a kid's life from at the very, very young age, it tends to affect them over a long, long period of time. And there's nothing worse than screwing up a young kid's life simply because then someone is mad or frustrated with themselves or they have their own personal problems and they feel the need to take it out on someone smaller and who can't protect themselves. to deal with an issue like that just because it is of such massive measures and it is really affecting the lives of so many people. But I think a starting place would be making sure that people like in the community know what's going on. Like for example, if it's a kid in a classroom, like for people that notice it, like other kids in the class or teachers or something, to be aware and to try and address the issue from the inside out instead of kind of attacking. Well, as a victim of child abuse, um, I can tell you that I think almost all elements of child abuse um, with enough time, and with enough money, and with enough access to therapy can be cured. Um, I think um, the worst thing you can do is sweep it under the rug and say nothing happened and I'll just suck it up and get by. And all that leads to is all these, maybe I could call them ancillary effects that come from uh, child abuse. I think that um, you know, with therapy and counseling, I think all those things can be um, can be dealt with, and the person can um, develop a, a framework for living that's um, uh, productive. Um, but it takes a lot of time, and a lot of effort, and a lot of um, hard work to for the abusee um, to realize that it's not their fault that they have a full life ahead of them and that um, they can learn over time to um, perhaps forget, perhaps forget the abuser um, that is haunting their mind all the time. much better to prevent child abuse than to deal with it and send people to jail. If you can prevent it, you got it. But it's not always possible to prevent, so you also have to be able to deal with it if it occurs. No cause is more worthy of your help than the health of our children.